Hi everyone, it's Jessie here from jessieholton.com, your Stamping Up demonstrator for Australia. Today I'm going to be showing you a really cute little card that I've made uh, using the sketch from the Global Design Project uh, and the Christmas Pines suite. So I've got the uh, presents and pine cones, DSP. Uh, and the matching embossing powder, which is here. Um, the washi tape set, the framelits, and the stamp set. How cute are these framelits? So, um, I've already gone ahead and pre cut a bunch of stuff, mainly these little pine cones. Uh, because they do take a little while to... Uh, I've got the brush and I highly recommend it. It does make life a lot easier. Um, but as you can see, <laughs> I've made a big stash of them because I'm going to make a whole heap of cards with these using this layout. So I'm going get, to get started on my Christmas stash. So I thought I'd go ahead and do that offline. Alright, so... I'm going to quickly throw together one of these cards and just show you how simple and gorgeous um, this week is together. Uh, so I've already pre-cut um, a bunch of card stock. So I've got my bases here. They're uh, an A4 card sheet, card stock sheet cut in half. So uh, cut at 14.9 and then scored at 10.5. Uh, then the next layer I've got, and this all this cardstock came from the matching cardstock pack, which has got Cherry Cobbler, Emerald Envy, and Whisper White, the thick Whisper White. So these ones I have done at 14.5 by 10.1, and that's the green layer that you can see on the outside there. Uh, and then I've gone ahead and cut a whole heap of the beautiful DSP. Um, presents and pine cones, <laughs> uh, and I have cut this at 10.1, sorry, 14.1 by 9.7, and that's the, I've used the red pattern there, which is on the back of the yellow stars. Um, okay, so how gorgeous, little bows, aren't they cute? Um, and so I've gone ahead and pre-cut a bunch of this. I'm going to use this one now. I think that one's really cute. Uh, and I think I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to use a red. A red set. Alright. So. <clears throat> let's throw this together. Um, now this set also comes with these really, really cute, you can see I've already used a whole bunch of them, how cute, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that, teeny weeny little copper pine cones, they are adorable. Um, so they're called mini pine cones and you can find them in the holiday catalogue. If you don't have a copy of the holiday catalogue or the annual, just give me a hoy and I'll send one over to you. Um, but I've used gold on my card today, so I'm going to leave the copper alone. Um, and this also comes with um, matching matching ribbon, silky taffeta ribbon combo pack. And it comes in the cherry cobbler and emerald envy, so that's where I've got my little bow from. Alrighty, so I am going to layer these up. So first I'm going to trim this. I've got my triple banner punch. So these strips are cut to five centimeters, uh, which is just short of two inches. And I'm actually just going to chop a second little bit off there because I just want it that little bit shorter. So that's my little tip for you is if it, you know you can 
take a little bit extra off if you just push it down after you cut it. Alright. Here's my Tombow. This one's almost empty. <laughs> I think it's dead. That's alright. Okay, and then we are going to stick that on here. Now you can do this in a different order, like if you find it easier to um, build the card up from the base then that's fine, you can do that too. I am actually going to stick this one down straight onto the base now because once it's got all of the bows and everything tied on the front it gets a bit hard to put the glue. It's a little bit hard to put the glue on there, so I'll just grab some of those card bases. Now I find usually I add all my layers together and then I stick them on the on the base last. But for this one I'm gonna because of all of the embellishment on the front. It's just a little bit easier to do it this way. Okay, so then we want a bit of the gold sequin trim. I'm not measuring it, I'm just doing it by eye. It's not a big deal. And I'm just pulling off the sequins that have been cut. So I don't mind a little bit of thread showing, I'd prefer that there'd be a little bit of thread showing rather than half sequins and I'm going to hang that so that it's just a little bit lopsided I'm going to grab two of my pine cones and oh, I forgot to put my I forgot to do the layers of washi tape. <laughs> That's alright. Alright, and I think this one can have a green bow. I think green will stand out better. So I'm just going to go and tie that. Now, Ribbon and I don't get along very well, but I find this particular ribbon really easy to work with. So that says a lot. So if you're also ribbon challenged, then have a go with this stuff. Cause how cute a little bow is that, you know? And really, I'm not I'm not usually very good at tying them at all. So I'm gonna hold these two little threads together. And just make sure that they're flat flat together and hopefully I do this the right way a little bit long but you get what I'm trying to do so they you do one snip and they're even And they're cut on the same angle, which is a killer for me. I can't stand it when they're not cut on the same angle. Alright, that's a cute little bow. I'm happy with that. Still wondering if I can put the washi tape on there somehow. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta move on, you know? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put my little pack of embellishments together.
and then I'm going to put them on top of the little branch here so that they look like they're actually tied onto the branch. That's the that's the look that I'm going for anyway. Make sure that my sequin is on there the right way. Okay. And then I'm going to very carefully maneuver my ribbon because I want to staple just right underneath the knot there and that way the bow kind of hides the staple a little bit I mean you're not going to be completely free of it but we don't want it to be too obvious There we go. Isn't that cute? And it still looks okay even though there's no washi tape on it. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see if I can get some more glue out of this Tombow. After. Have to open up a new one soon, I think. Oh, this is the last dregs. Alright, that one can go in the bin. Luckily I have a stash of these up my sleeve. I do love my Tombow. Gives you just that little bit of room to move when you put your your paper down or your cardstock down. And usually when I staple something I would add dimensionals underneath that layer so that it didn't show so much. But um, with this one, because you've got the bow and everything there, it kind of hides the fact that there's a little bit of a bump there where the staple, the back of the staple is. So, and it actually makes the the staple go on a little bit of an angle so um, that means that your little pine cones stick out a little bit which I think looks really cute but you know me I think everything looks cute alrighty so next I'm going to do the inside of the card and I'm just going to do it the same as I did the other one, which is to use these little stars and splotches and I'm just going to pop that in the middle roundabouts you don't have to be too careful with this one because it is just stars and splotches it's not going to show if you don't have it completely straight so that was with cherry cobbler and now I'm going to come in with emerald envy and this really gorgeous um, I don't know if you guys can see that, Tidings of Comfort and Joy. And it's in all different fonts and it's got little flourishes next to it. I just think that's really pretty. So I'm just going to put that straight over the top of my stars and pop that away. So that's the inside of the card. Now on this one I did do some Winker Stella, some gold flicks with the Winker Stella. Um, so, you know, that's something else that you can add to the card if you want it to have a little bit more going on on the inside. Um, and I haven't put any sentiments on the front because, I mean, you can't really mistake these cards for Christmas cards, can you? They're in the traditional colours and really pretty little patterns. So there's my two cards um, using the uh, Global Design Project layout. You can see photos of these cards on my blog at jessieholden.com and I've used the Presents and Pinecones suite 
which I'm actually selling in a craft pack, a $20 craft pack. So you get a little bit of DSP, um, so you get six 12 by 6 inch sheets of the designer series paper. You get two A4 sheets of each, Whisper White, Cherry Cobbler and Emerald Envy. Uh, you get one of the rolls of washi tape, there's five different ones in the pack. Um, you get some of the little uh, pine cone embellishments that I showed you before. You get envelopes, uh, you get a metre each of these uh, red and green ribbons, the cherry cobbler and the um, emerald envy. <laughs> uh, and I think that's it. Uh, you get envelopes, a pack of 10 envelopes. So um, I think they're really great value and it means that you can get a couple of different suites of product uh, without having to spend a lot of money. And then of course the stamps, the embossing folders, the punches, the framelets, all of the coordinating pro uh, products that go along with those suites are also available um, for purchase through my online shop store. So if you have any uh, questions or queries at all, please drop me a line. Let me know if you need a catalogue. Um, sign up for my newsletter. You get lots of uh, tips and deals that way. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's been great crafting with you today and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.